What is up guys, Patson the Iron and this FIFA 17 video, we're going to be showing you the slowest possible Premier League goal team. On screen here you can see a lot of players that have been around for a very long time in Mertesack, Adam Michael Dawson, Peter Crouch to Robert Snodgrass. So we're going to start out off at the back and the team and we do have Fraser Forster. He probably isn't the slowest player but in the goalkeeper spot in the Premier League he has been named the slowest goalkeeper. In the centre back spot, we do have Per Mertesacker, the Arsenal centre back, and probably Arsenal's second or first choice. So, as you can see, 27 pace for the German. I would put him at, in real life, probably 60 pace, maybe 40, 50, somewhere around there. Doesn't deserve 27 pace on his card. So, as you can see next to him, we do have the Hull City man in Michael Dawson. Who is ex Spurs himself? 32 pace isn't something to be proud of, but he does have 32 pace and 32 shot. Illuminati confirmed. Next to him, we do have Angel Rangel at the right back position, who's another player who does have double stats as he's got 59 pace, 59 shot, and decent card stats other than that pace. Then on the left back, we do have a Man City regular in the past. And that is Kolarov, decent enough card for a left back apart from his pace. He was close to do the double-double with the pace and shooting but not really there. In the CDM position we do have a Stoke player in Glenn Whelan. So 44 pace, that isn't the best but he will work for us. That is Glenn Whelan. Then the other CDM spot we do have a career milestone Gareth Barry. So 600 games, this is what this is for, and decent enough card that pace does let him down a little bit, but it's Gareth Barry, what can you say, he's been around for years. And then in the centre mid position we do have Huddle Stin. For a player of his kind of age, as you can see, he stats there. So he's not that old, he's not that young, but he doesn't deserve 43 pace, and he's got a 5 star weak foot, benefits. So we'll get in these stats in a little bit in a second. Next we have Stephen Pienaar, the ex-Spurs player as well. 69 pace, decent enough card. He did actually run riot forward in this video. So as you can see, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills. And you can see by stats there, 4 games played, 3 shots, 3 goals, 3 assists. And that is Stephen Pienaar. Next to him we have Peter Crouch himself, Mr. Robot. So we have 4 games, 1 goal, 3 assists, so you can see we're doing work. Then we'll have Robert Snodgrass, who has got 4 games, 1 goal, 1 assist. And we'll have a look through Gareth Barry. 39 games, 4 goals and 7 assists. He did score 1 goal in this video and assisted 1. So, silver lining. Clem Whelan didn't do anything apart from 1 assist. Nothing really happened in the defence, it was pretty solid actually. Um, Angal Rangel did give away at own goal and Kolarov did he give away a penalty? I don't think he did but Mertesacker tripped someone up on the edge of the box which I don't know why he did that but that's per Mertesacker for you a quick look at the custom tactics I left it quite similar to what it is to start off with so them are the 4 3 3 3 and we have big Tony Pulis as the manager there which I thought if we're going to have a fast team, we're going to have a fast manager. So that is the best possible Premier League goal team. So we're going to get into the highlights now. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, comment and like the video. Comment down below what you think of this team. If there are any challenges you want to try next, I would like to see someone try this in Weekend League for a full 40 games. And see what they could do. I've been Patson. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the video. So here we are guys, game 1 against a decent team actually for friendlies and considering the pace in my team I was quite glad to see this, this, this team actually so decent team for friendlies I guess <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to put like shade on his team so I'm not really going to say anything bad but we did start off very good actually with the team. I wasn't surprised but we are on full chemistry which I didn't take that into kind of consideration that each player was going to get a, a quite a large boost for them being quite low overall. So everyone got 10 chemistry apart from the left wing and right wing. So I wasn't going to pay the extra coins to put them on full chemistry. I don't think it was very 
wise to do so one team this season is so close so I didn't bother doing that as you can see yeah Tom Huddleston was fine until like the 40th minute and then he was kind of crawling around on the floor Glenn Whelan was quite surprising in this game actually he was quite I don't know what the word is he was quite everywhere he was all over the pitch up and down quite box to box for a CDM so someone I was very impressed with which I knew this from past FIFA's was Stephen Pino kind of underrated but his stats are terrible to be honest but four star weak foot four star skills decent card decent shot decent dribbling <laughs> we made the first guy rage quit there so I am playing this prime time on a weekend as well so there are a lot more better players playing as you can see next opponent team Ryan's 11 so he's, he has got big D storage, he's got Dembele, Yaya, Kante, he's got Martial, he's got a decent team and it's very fast so keep that in mind as you see my team going in there. So we did open things up straight away, Ryan Snodgrass to Stephen Pienaar who scores again, nice finish there. So what you really don't see is the kind of how much work I'm putting in on the defence to try and block his sprinting through runs to cut the passing lanes and stuff like that i've got to close off his passing lanes very quickly as you can see there that pass the Ma money and then he kind of scores yeah doesn't he no he doesn't i just showed that anyway i thought i only left in the scores it doesn't matter really so here we can see robert snodgrass takes a nice shot on the angle that was nice by snoddy so this was kind of a weird one he didn't really get into me box and have a shot. He waited until he got outside the box to have a shot. And then, same thing, like, how I, where's the fairness? My goals were, like, good and his were, like, kind of lucky. I suppose that's what you get when you have them type of players compared to my type of players. So, I did put a player on called Johansson, who is an 8 year overall with 50 pace. And I did put him on the bench for... Just because I've never used him before and I thought I'd bring him on, he's slow, he's got his best start is 99 aggression, you can see there he got a 9.1 match rating, which was decent actually to come on as centre mid for Huddleston, which I actually had to do because he had no stamina and when I bought him he kind of didn't have a stamina anyway. So as you can see, I had game 3 and this is all I'm saying, I should never get a victory against this guy just by his team. So a few players that are kind of outplaced with Fellaini and kind of Debucci. But his team quality, I should never be winning here. And I don't think I do win here. But just seeing that, that was kind of lucky to start off with Marcus Rashford. Not a player who should be scoring them type of things. And then we'll get kind of cheesed out with that kind of lucky bounce off Angel Rangel and he scores. I've always liked his name, Angel Rangel. Stephen Pienaar was kind of the focus of the team to be honest, but it's Peter Crouch, if you can see here, Peter running through, it's a nice finish by Peter Crouch, over the top, through ball to Gareth Barry, who's one on one, he's not going to miss that, puts it in the bottom corner and make it with 2-2 up, so we should never really got back into the game there, and then he kind of buries with, with the 90th minute cheese, he did not deserve that as you can see by the stats by my team, he didn't deserve it, I'm not one of those players who says he did if he didn't, he got a 90 minute kind of look of the bounce ball which he should never have got because I had the ball on the wing he kind of took the ball off us and then that's what's happened so as you can see yeah another team that is very good for friendlies to be honest everyone that was in there was a good player apart from the first person he wasn't he wasn't bad he just I don't think he had FIFA very long so at this point we did put Alex Hunter on but Peter Crouch got an injury I do believe straight away and Peter Crouch is bad enough to start with and I didn't have any other players on the bench. That's why Alex Hunter's on. Stephen Pienaar wins the ball back there. That was a very nice skill into Hunter, who scores. So I should have thought about putting a player on the bench, but I don't really have time to look through every player is on, on card pace. So I just went with Alex Hunter. I was the only player on the bench who had any pace. So... I don't know how Peter Crouch is on the pitch now, but I thought I took him off Alex Hunter. So, that was kind of weird. He might have been, I don't know, Peter Crouch might have been on the bench and I brought Alex Hunter on. But there was a game where Peter Crouch was was injured, so I took him off for Alex Hunter. So that was 3-0 win against Wolves CF there. We should never have won that game, you can see the stats were absolutely dominated him. 
So as you can see, there's the there's the team there. A lot of players that are very good. Would I recommend this team for foot champions? I think everyone should play with this team for champions for at least one run in the game. See what you can do because every time I have seen someone who get top 100 get elite, something like that. I've never seen them use a slow play at over someone 90 odd pace. So if you're someone who does them kind of challenges to get top 100 and stuff like that, do it with this team because I'm guarantee you now you probably won't get top 100 with this team. Unless you're crazily technical with your passing and stuff like that. And your finishing ability is second and none. That's the only way you're going to win with this team in for Champions. So that's going to be the end of the video. I've been Patterson. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.